and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for all future content. Whenever Lynn Hunt, LJ Montello posts anything on Twitter, a lot of people normally just shake their heads and they just think, wow, you really need to either get some help or just, I don't know, go outside, get some fresh air, have an ice cream and just relax, you know? And it's quite funny because what we're going to look into today is a couple of tweets that she's done regarding Kamea Khan and a few other things. And it's almost like she's trying to say that she's big in the convention world and that whatever she says, people need to listen to her because she knows everything and the convention world owe her a great deal by the sounds of things. So we're going to look into what she has said. And again, this is coming from a man, Jeff, on Twitter. So, Jeff, thank you very much for these, mate. Shake my head. Sigh. Now Crimson Chin has believed into the janitor's shot BS. Does she even go to cons? What does it matter to her? I think maybe, just maybe, they are trying to ruin Kamea Khan for everyone. Which is exactly true. Because Dominic's guy got chucked out of Kamea Khan... Everyone on her side, so you got the person in the last video who was trying to white knight her, and then lots of other people like, how dare you throw someone out who said they were going to cause trouble and they never had a guest pass given to them, but they somehow had one anyway. Yeah, that's what's happened. Someone got chucked out of Kamea Khan, which we all know who it was. We've all seen the video, we've all laughed at the video, because she tries downplaying it and she tries playing the victim in it. And you can see in the videos that have been released, the convention staff, they worked brilliantly. they done exactly what they're trained to do, which is basically ask the person nicely to leave, tell them why they're leaving, and that's it. But according to Dominique Sky and a few other people on her side, she's like, they done this to me, they done that to me. It's almost as bad as going to prison. That's how she's made it out to be. She made these people out to be like prison wardens. But they're not. These people were doing their job and they were doing their job correctly. But again, they like to see, oh, how dare they do this to me? Don't they know who I am? That's what it almost feels like. It's almost like LJ Montello. So, you know, you got Mars Girl, Dominique Sky. Not the actual voice actors, so not Monica, Jamie, you know, because people know who they are. Because obviously when they go to convention, that's what they're there for. But when you got Dominique Sky, LJ Montello, Mars Girl, they're all like, don't you know who I am? And it's like, well, no, we don't know who you are and we don't care. All we know is that we have tweets specifically from you saying you're going to cause trouble. And then you had Dominique Sky in her little girly voice going, Oh, but they've done this to me. They've done that to me. Oh my God, it's so terrible. And it's just like, no, what you're doing is wrong. You can carry on playing the victim all you want, but it's not going to work. So we're going to have a little look at the actual tweets. And this one that Lynn Hunt is actually replying to, this Shoikara, or Kiri, whatever his name is, don't care. I recommend anyone that was legitimately harassed by Kamea Khan staff or witnessed them doing this to people, please call this number and ask to speak to this person, director of events, and convey what happened. Well, first of all, anyone who rings that... Guaranteed, straight away, they'll be like, right, we'll look into it, and is there any evidence? And people will be like, well, there's video evidence of this, because it's all over Twitter. And they're going, like, well, nothing happened, goodbye. So they're literally trying to get people just to bother Meredith Day. And it's just, and these people just don't seem to realise that. They are that stupid. They literally think, oh, we can complain, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. But then they'll be like, well, we got video footage, and we actually got the tweets that you sent. And this is what happened. You got kicked out because of it. And then they're still going to back and forth. Well, you're wrong. We're right. Again, this is the mindset of these people. And it's a very, very sad life to live. And this is what Lynn had to reply with. This has KC and Emosh super bothered. Because it's all fun and games until there may be actual consequences for being harassing douche nozzles. First of all, Lynn, no. They are not bothered by this. Kamea Khan are like, no, we don't care. Well, one person's done this. We threw them out because we have evidence. Again, I just can't stress how stupid these people really are. If they think this is going to work, it's not. Kamea Khan has got video footage. They have tweets. They have photos. They have everything. 
all the people who have gone there, and if they filmed it, they'll probably send him. Like, oh, no, they never. Look, this is what's going on. This is what... I just can't seem to grasp why they think this is going to work. It's not. And they just carried on. So she's what she had to say. Because obviously, Dominique's guy had to say, they don't feel bad. Which they don't. They do not care. They've done their job. That is it. And this is what she had to say. You would think if Chris wanted to be welcomed back into the larger con community and out on the next Kamea con, he would at minimum start acting like a professional adult. <laughs> First of all, that is one thing I want to say right here. Just that last sentence. He would at minimum start acting like a professional adult. The hypocritical thing that comes from her saying this is just mind-blowing. This is someone... Again, Dominic Sky, all these people, they're saying, well, you need to act like a professional adult. Well, if you start acting and treating people how you would like to be treated, maybe they would act like that towards you. But no, you have to go out of your way every single day to have a go at people and to make fun of them. And you scream and shout, then you dox them, then you try and get them fired. Again, I do not condone doxing and all this stuff that's gone on on both sides. Because obviously Dominique supposedly had people in her hospital and all this. People were contacting them about her. That's not right. But then, neither is doing it against Tug and everyone else. Leave jobs, leave all of this out of it. None of that needs to be done. I've said this before and I'll say it again. If you've got an issue with someone, take it up with that person. That's all you need to do. I've tried taking it up with, a, with a, quite a few people on KickVic. I've asked them, you know, well, we'll have a little chat, we'll do this, we'll do that. And then they just do not get back to me. And it's happened with quite a few people, but it's like, okay, that's fair enough. That has shown me the type of character you really are. And with her saying this, start acting like a professional adult. Take your own advice first, then you may be able to give it. And this is what she had to say at the very end of it. This is what needs to be fixed in our fandom. Laughing and cheering this is not acceptable. No shit. You're saying that, but you are literally laughing and cheering what all of you are doing. So again, you're being one of the biggest hypocrites on this earth. Lynn, before you start acting like this towards people, try fixing yourself first. Treat people how you want to be treated. This goes for everyone, both sides. Okay? If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see all you wonderful people soon.